Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Welcome to your August spread. I feel like you really need to defend yourself um, against any other people or things or energies that are trying to, I also feel like fuck with your head. Like maybe other people are trying to say something that will get into your head and make you think about like all this negative shit or maybe, and again, our, I'm a Gemini also, what's up? <laughs> Our um, ruling planet is Mercury. It will be retrograde very soon. So through August, you're gonna be noticing, I feel like there's just mind games or, and maybe it's not only from the external world. I think there's a lot of like mental sort of struggles with you still detaching from this old version of yourself. And like now you have this new identity and I know that is still emerging and you're still sort of like discovering what you like. I feel like there's a lot of maybe struggle with like, okay, I want to connect with community or with these people. I wanna be accepted. I'm feeling sort of isolated or alone or just like eh. So I'm going to go back into these old communities or these old behaviors or habits. And I think you now know that they're quite toxic. Like they're not really something that benefits you. It's not really something that you wanna be involved in. And it's just like the stress because you're like, well, I have two options. It's like one is I get involved and I don't like it, but at least I'm accepted and I'm in quote unquote community. I feel connection, but you're also like lying to yourself because when you're there, you're not really feeling connected and excited. You're just like, ugh, you're just, you're present, but you're not involved really. Like it's just a different energy. It's not like scratching um, that itch like it used to. Oh, it's good. And now it's just like, ugh, like I don't like this. Or the other option is like, I'm just alone. <laughs> and it's like, okay. The first one, yeah, if you don't want to be involved and you want to um, leave that kind of energetic situation or community, then leave and don't get involved, okay? First thing. The second thing, you're not fucking alone. Like, what you are experiencing is the middle of a shift. Um, when your vibration changes, like, imagine literally two levels of consciousness, two experiences here on Earth. It's like you can't really experience both fully and feel involved in both at the same time. It's very challenging. And when you are going through the middle of those changes, you're gonna feel a little bit lonely and kind of insecure and like unsure about what you're doing because you're not gonna feel fully grounded um, and you're not gonna feel like connected to the community. You're gonna feel like, again, that loneliness, but it's like, it's because you're shifting out of an old community or out of an old identity or out of an old lifestyle. So it's like, just like shut up and just go through it. <laughs> it's like, I'm literally experiencing the same thing. Like the other people will show up. New connections will show up. New love will show up. But I also feel like some of you are a little bit sort of like, ugh, looking back at the past and just feeling like, it's like, I wish I could go back to just not caring. I wish I could go back to just being like, stupid and like playing, just drinking and partying, doing whatever the fuck I want. But like now I have this expanded consciousness and I know about consequences. I know about what benefits me and what doesn't benefit me. I know about like my spiritual growth and what's the best for me and what's the right path. But like the other twin just wants to fucking go out and party and do the stupid shit so that he feels connected. But then when we're there, the other twin's like, bitch, what the fuck are we doing here? Why the fuck are you still involved in this bullshit? Grow up. And the other twin's like, I don't want to grow grow up. And it's like, well, we're literally twins. We're the same age. So like, <laughs> we're, we're both growing up, you know? So it's like, we're both growing up. You need to join this, you know, side of the thing. So I feel like we have that internal sort of struggle happening right now, okay? It will pass. This is um, literally you expanding your consciousness. I also have the Six of Cups here reversed with the High Priestess, so I feel like there could be some communication from another person from your past. Something could be coming back around to be wrapped up or um, secrets coming out and like now there's more clarity about a situation or uh, we're just seeing something different about a past connection um, and now we're really sort of ready to move forward in a different way. I also feel like another person is maybe going to be showing up and is thinking about how to offer you something. It looks like a new commitment or a new, uh, well, there's two things here. One of them is you needing to really sort of sit yourself down and figure out, okay, these are the things that I know I wanna do for my actual progress and I'm just going to commit to it. Like some of you wanna be doing like a detox. Some of you want to be 
changing your wardrobe, changing your, your home. I would like put a pause on any huge changes. Like don't get bangs, like don't, you know, get a tattoo right now just because we have Venus retrograde. This is more about us detaching from our old identity, detaching from the old ways we, th we thought we wanted connection, um, detaching from the old sort of limiting beliefs about self-love or what, you know, relationships really look like when that's like just not a healthy relationship that's actually a trauma bond. And it's like, now we're detaching from those old stories and we're seeing things more clearly. But like, I also have a Venus retrograde cord cutting workshop. I'm going to tag it below. It is fucking amazing, okay? So use this energy to cut those cords and clear it because we also are in a major um, time right now for planting new seeds and like welcoming in all these new connections, opportunities, et cetera. And you, you can't have both. You can't have both. So like make the space, okay? Clear it out. Some of you are also noticing you don't wanna be investing your time, energy, money, um, or your commitments to, I feel like there's maybe like actually a legal issue that's gonna be coming up for some of you. So I would just say, be careful before you just start like, um, like if someone wants money from you, like I don't think you owe them, first of all. The other thing is like there could be work issues coming up or problems at work and you're gonna be like, I just don't wanna be involved in this bullshit. I think that's gonna kind of be like a major red flag for you to like leave this situation. Um, a lot of you will also be noticing that there's karmic connections, people, projects, things that are now starting to clear. And again, use that Venus retrograde energy, the workshop, to clear them and to support that cleanse. But like, there's an overall energy here of you being like, oh my God, like eight of coins reverse with the justice reverse, with the wheel of fortune reverse. It's like, why? Why would I even think of continuing to commit and invest into this situation when this is obviously draining me and you've been obviously trying to convince me of something that is wrong for me or pull me out of alignment. It's like, or just like cause more issues in my life because you don't really value me. You just value your plan and your plan includes me playing a role for you, but I don't want to continue to play that. So it, it, it's like, there's this overall energy of like, I am fucking moving forward and I don't care what anyone thinks about that. Like, I just don't care. I'm committing to new things. Um, there's a new morning routine or like, I also feel like for a lot of you, maybe you're thinking about like your foods, like what are you eating? What are you watching? What are you listening to? What are you reading? It's like, you just need this overall change, which is beautiful. And I think this Venus retrograde is really sort of supporting that. And I think because this Mercury retrograde is gonna be starting very soon, it's gonna give you an opportunity to just really kind of like reflect and notice that you're just like, I'm just, I'm done. So like use that Venus retrograde energy. The workshop actually is only $11 right now. I just put it on sale 50% off. So use that um, to benefit your situation because like this eight of swords, this eight of swords, this old idea, like a lot of what you need to focus on is letting the other twin release control and allowing yourself to flow into, you know, that, that new version of the twins, which is the other one who's like the healthier twin that's like, come on, like let's like focus on positive shit, you know, not this like old toxic cycle, etc. So use that energy. I love you, Gemini. You know, I'm gonna pull a couple more cards. Yeah, some of you are also, there's other people who could be a little bit jealous of you. And I feel like with this Emperor card, like you really need to take control of your reaction. You don't wanna be impulsive. You're gonna notice that maybe there's times where you wanna say something and just like get it out, but it's like, don't. Like with this seven of coins, yeah, bitch. Seven of coins reverse, 10 of coins reverse. It's like, it literally doesn't even matter because you're looking at that situation. You're looking at that person and you're just like, I literally want nothing to do with you anyway. So it's like, why would I, even give you my time? Why would I give you any of my attention or my energy? It's just like, no, like I know that my energy is better spent cutting and clearing you out. Like this Ace of Cups, like Ace of Cups is coming, bitch. 
This magician card is like, you know that you're creating your new cycle. You know that you are creating a new version of your life and a new chapter is already open. So it's like when old characters are coming back, why the fuck would you spend your time, your energy, your money, your attention, your love on them? It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Focus on the new and experiencing and growing this new life, right? Like that is where all of your attention and energy should be focused. Okay, so I love you. Please tag another Gemini below. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful. Share it on your Instagram story. These are free. I support you, you support me, and come on. Like this is the Gemini family, right? What's up? So I love you. I'll see you very soon. Go take a workshop, okay? Also the Lionsgate uh, portal candle magic ceremony was incredible. We had like a thousand people show up or we'll buy tickets 600 people showed up and now we have the recording because so many people were asking for it so that's also available that includes an energy cleanse that also includes a guided meditation and a manifestation candle um ceremony sort of experience so anyways i love you i'll see you very soon gemini ciao